So today we are finding volumes of composite solids. Now a composite solid is a solid that's made up of different parts. All right, for example, this figure here and this figure here. Now notice we don't have a formula for a figure that looks like this. There's not even a name for a figure like this or this. All right, but these solids are made up of basic solids that we can combine together to find the total volume. And that's what we're gonna be doing here today. All right, so for number one, find the volume of this solid. Your first step is to figure out what is this solid made up of? And if you look carefully, you can kind of tell the top part is a cone and the bottom part is a cylinder. So if we, if we can find the volume of each of these parts and add them together, we'll have the volume of this whole thing. All right, so let's start with the cone. Volume of a cone is pi times the radius squared times the height and then divided by three. So there's our cone. Now for the cylinder, the volume formula is pi times the radius squared times the height of the cylinder. And notice the cylinder's height is different than the cone's height. And there we go. All right. Now, one of the keys to doing this is notice how we have pi in our answers. That means we're going to have an approximate answer here. So what we're going to need to do is simplify this down as much as we can before we really need to put in the calculator. All right. So if you notice here, we've got 3 squared, which is 9, times 10, which is 90, divided by 3, which is 30. So this whole thing simplifies to just 30 pi. 30 times pi. All right. On the cylinder part, we've got 3 squared, which is 9, times 8, which is 72, times pi. So look, we've just simplified this very complicated mess to this, 30, ply, 30 pi plus 72 pi. And we can simplify this even more, because if you have 30 pi over here, and you're adding 72 pi over here, that comes out to a total of 102 pi, because 30 pi's plus 72 pi's is 102 pi's. And technically, this is your exact answer. If you wanted the exact answer in terms of pi, that would be it. But today, we're going to actually put in our calculator and get an approximate answer rounded to the tenth. So let's do that. 102 times pi gets me about 320.4. So we'll say this is approximately 320.4 inches cubed. All right, so you'll notice it's basically finding the volume of a cone. It's just we have to do both of them and add them together to find our final volume of this composite solid. All right, let's do, let's do a slightly harder one now. Okay, so we have a cone-shaped hole drilled out of this metal block. All right, so you kind of have to picture like almost a, like a rectangular block here, and then a cone-shaped hole is being drilled out of it. So that's missing. All that stuff inside the cone, that's missing from our uh, metal block. And we want to find the volume of that metal block. So first step, let's visualize what's happening here. We start with this rectangular prism. So if we find the volume of this rectangular prism, and then subtract the hole drilled out, which is a cone, we'll be left with the metal block. All right, so let's do this now. The prism is area of the base times the height, so 38 times 20 times the height, which is 20. So there's my prism, minus, now my cone, we just did the cone formula, it's pi, times the radius squared, times the height, which it looks like the height is just the same height as this block. It goes from the top to the bottom. And then don't forget to divide by 3. All right. So it looks pretty complicated. One thing to notice, though, the cones formula has a pi in it. The prisms formula does not. So whereas before we had two parts that had pi in it, we can combine them together. This time, not, we're not going to be able to do that. But let's simplify this as much as we can, okay? 38 times 20 times 20. Well, 20 times 20 is 400. 400 times 38 is 15,200. 
All right, that's the prism. On the other side, the cone, we've got 9 squared, which is 81, times 20 divided by 3. So that comes out to 1620, and that's times pi, so this is just 1620 pi. All right, and notice, like I said before, we've got pi over here, we don't have pi over here, so we can't simplify this anymore. We can't do 15,200 minus 1620 because this one doesn't have pi and this one does. So at this point, if we want to get our final answer uh, rounded to the 10th, we're just going to have to stick this whole thing into the calculator. So let's do that. All right, 15,200 minus 1620 pi gets me about, it's pretty big, 10,110.6, and that'll be centimeters cubed. All right. So again, when working with composite figures, take the time to stop and think right from the beginning, what is the figure made up of? Are they two pieces that are added together? Or maybe it's two pieces but need to be subtracted. All right, but once you figure out what those pieces are, use your volume formulas and then either add up those volumes or subtract them to find your composite volume. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math and I will see you next time.